what is up guys it is your boy main mania and welcome back to another episode of mk mobile wait what what is that is that two main mania videos in a row in back-to-back -back days is main mania back full-time not yet not yet soon not yet though not yet y'all gotta bear with me man like this new job Oh man, training is rough. Training is 10 weeks long for this job, guys. 10 weeks of training, of doing video tutorials after video tutorials and Zoom calls and Zoom meetings and tests and tests and tests. I feel like I'm back in school. Like learning the healthcare system and all the codes and all the stuff going on. I honestly feel like I'm back in school. And if you're in school, you know how annoying that is but in today's video we are going to talk about the cold war tower cold war tower is one of my least favorite towers before i talk junk let me show you why and no i'm not going to talk junk it's because of this my cold war scorpion is obviously fusion x my Cold War sub is also Fusion X, and my Cold War Sonya is also Fusion X. All three of those characters are x 60 hey, and the only one that is not, of course you would do that, is Cold War Scarlet, who is at Fusion, that's Assassin. I believe she's at Fusion 1. She's very low Fusion. So... That basically means, yeah, she's at Fusion 1. So that basically means uh, I have a 75% chance or more to get a duplicate for Battle 200s. And based on the timing, we're only going to be able to get in potentially two or three max Battle 200 wins. So a 75% chance in three runs to get a duplicate doesn't feel good walking in. But let's take a quick look at the rewards before I yell at myself for what happened. Sorry about that, guys. My um, my back button and all that stuff was frozen on the screen for some reason. I may have pressed something. I don't know. Anyhow, as I was saying, yeah, 75% chance to get a duplicate. But you know what? Let's take a quick look at the rewards before we go ahead and jump on into it. So, the main reward, as I feared, is once again a 75% chance to get a duplicate. Scarlet's the only one that we won't get a duplicate for, and we'll be able to get one of the epic pieces. Now, in regards to these epic pieces, I have Bloodmaster's Iron Curtain and Weather Warfare, which is what I kept getting every win, but, I do not have the Missile Gap or General Father's Gun. Hopefully, I'll go ahead and get that. Let's take a quick look at the boss fights. For level 20, we're going to get a random gold hoop. A random uncommon piece at 40. Random gold at 60. Uncommon at 80. We still get the random diamond at 100, which is solid. Random uncommon at 120, gold, uncommon, gold. So no guaranteed rare pieces, which doesn't feel too good. And then once again, we just saw the battle 200 rewards. That is um not too promising. What I would like to see them do in the future, I've mentioned in the past. You guys let me know how you guys feel about it in the comment section below. I would like to see battle 100 be a random diamond and a rare card battle 100 being random diamond plus rare battle 200 being you know targeted diamond plus epic i think that would be a nice system for all towers going forwards let me know if you guys like my idea in the comment section below as far as the standard participation we have the random drops the different equipment pieces in this tower and then we have, you know, uh, the gold characters. I do not know if any of the newer characters are going to be a part of this as far as, you know, uh, the new gold, Pyromancer Tanya and um, Combat Cup Cassie. 
and i also do not know if um sindel classic rain night wolf etc will be part of that random diamond pool uh for battle 100 so i guess time will tell when we get to battle 100 we'll find out so ladies and gentlemen y'all know how crazy my schedule was right have you guys noticed what battle i'm on in this tower battle 14 right guys i got out of work today and i said to myself yo i was talking about it in discord too because i'm still pretty active in discord i'm still active in discord every day another one of the perks of of being around you know even when you're not getting content on twitch or youtube you know i'm still very active with my community and discord all throughout the days every single day when i get a chance to pop in send some messages send some memes talk about talk about stuff etc i'm in there so People in my community, um, it feels good to can still be in constant communication with them. Let them know what's going on, how I'm feeling, and, uh, you know, what's coming up, etc., etc., etc. But nonetheless, I was telling Taken today, I was like, you know what? I'm going to try to record when I get off of work. So I saved two battles. So I'm going to do two battles for you guys in today's video. I'm going to do two battles. I play this game on a specific device because that's what I have all of my stuff set up for. The, you know, specifics of this device. Screen layouts, etc., etc., etc. The phone was dead. I said, let me charge the phone for like 20 minutes and I'm gonna record the video. I set everything up, green screen setup, lighting, ran all my cables, unplugged stuff, replugged in everything that needs to be set up or mobile recording, right? I passed out. 20 minutes, I went straight to sleep. I was so tired after work. I've been getting really tired after work and it's not because like it's hard labor and I'm physically exhausted. It's just, I, I have trouble sleeping and these tutorials are so boring at work. These video tutorials are so boring, guys. It's just be putting me to sleep, man. Oh my god. So I already lost two battles. Moral of the story. Day one. First set of battles. I already lost two battles that I was saving for you guys. I obviously could have done them. But I was like, nah, I'm gonna save them for you guys because I don't know when I'm gonna be able to do, you know, more videos for you guys. I'm gonna, there's definitely not gonna be new videos every day. I just can't with training and with work and having to be up so early in the morning, you know, it's really, really hard right now. So I have 10 weeks of training and I've only completed my first week so far, but nonetheless, here we are. So in today's episode, I'm gonna show you guys my farm specials teams just because I want to talk about this a little bit more as I'm going to be discussing it even in more detail when I do my collection video, which is coming up. So on this team, I'm running, I'm running Ronin Kenshi. Ronin Kenshi has feats of strength that require him to have to get 1500 special twos. So I have gear on him that's going to start him off with a special two. And the whole goal of this, these teams is just to farm special ones or twos. That's it. He needs special twos. Shao Kahn needs special ones. And Quan Chi needs special twos. So on this specific team, that's what I go for with those three characters. I do believe two of those characters are very close to getting those feats. Once one of them changes, I'm gonna swap over Spec Ops Scorpion to this team specifically and I'm going to keep my MK11 team as an MK11 team. My other farm specials teams, one of them is gold, which I never get to play because let's be honest, I'm at this point where I'm just focusing on my diamonds and then we're all gonna get there as our collections grow. But I do need to farm that team of elite gold characters. But nonetheless, my second specials team is usually my MK11 team. MK11 noob was on it, but I just finished getting his 2000 special ones and his 1500 special twos, which I was, you guys saw me farming in the last tower. So I brought in Spec Ops Scorpion so I can get a head start on him. And once again, if you guys haven't noticed how I structure my teams just yet, the first character and the last character are always my main focuses. They're always my damage dealers. 
whoever's in the middle is always my backup plan. He's always my last resort, etc., etc., etc. Because when you're tagging in and out of matches, it's easier to tap the top box and the bottom box than the middle box. Sometimes when you're tapping the middle box, if you're moving too quickly, you may tap one of the other boxes by accident. So it's a lot easier to tap the top box and the bottom box, and that's why I structure my teams this way. So on this team, MK11 Sub-Zero needed special twos and ones. His twos are done. Now we just have to get his special ones. And MK11 Scorpion needed ones and twos. His ones are done. And now we just have to get his twos. Spec Op Scorpion, AKA Strike Force Scorpion, needs both ones and twos. But since he's the backup, we're focusing MK11 Sub and MK11 Scorpion for now. Once one of them finishes, I'm gonna bring in Shang Tsung, Nightwolf, MK11 Rain, maybe Raiden, and then Scarlet. Actually, Raiden doesn't need any ones and twos. If I remember correctly, Raiden doesn't need special ones or twos. He needs X-rays and battle mode wins, and we're already working on those with our battle mode farming teams. So anyways, guys, I just wanted to go over these little things that I do. As we know, the tower, the last tower got pretty boring, and they were, the game got kind of stale for like the last month, month and a half or so. So these are the things that I do every day is to continually work on my teams of buffing my characters and getting my feats of strength done. I do not do battles to waste characters and their energy. Every battle has a purpose. And right now my purpose is to max out all of their feats of strength so I can max out the capability of each of my fighters, whether it's their lethal chance, their defense, their health, their damage, etc. You know, maxing out their feats of strength and getting those 8% buffs do help out along the way. Are they going to carry? No, but they help out along the way. Now, MK11 Scorpion and Strike Force Scorpion both need Sub Zero kills in this match specifically. So, instead of starting with MK11 Sub, I'm going to start with MK11 Scorpion. The reason why I'm going to focus MK11 Scorpion over Strike Force Scorpion is because. I like to focus on one character at a time. And since my Strike Force Scorpion was super low before, as in I only had him like at zero fusion, because remember, I just got him recently. Since he was super low before, I decided to go with MK11 Scorpion first, as far as the next person to focus on the sub zero kills, because he was already at like fusion four. So that's the only reason I'm selecting him first. Once again, I do like to focus on one over the other. I'm going to turn off auto because I do not want him tagging out and potentially losing that kill. I'll bring in Sub for his two special ones. Hopefully he doesn't get the kill, and then I can bring in Spec Op for a special two. I'll block until Spec Op can come in. Now I'll get a special two. I'm doing zero damage on purpose because once again, my goal is to get as many specials in as possible, but this will kill. So in this match, we got Two special ones for MK11 sub. We got a special two and two sub zero kills for MK11 Scorpion. And we got a special two for Spec Op Scorpion. Rinse and repeat throughout the towers, throughout all the battles until things get hard at like battle 150, 160. And then that's when I actually bring in my tower teams. I'll probably bring in my tower team for uh, boss battle 100, 120, 140, etc. Just because you never know and you want a one shot. And now that I wasted two turns trying to save these battles for you guys, I would like to make up for that lost time. So I'll do another battle for you guys since once again, I did have these two battles planned for you. First thing you'll notice in this is that we have two Sonyas and a Johnny Cage. Goro needs Johnny Cage kills, so he's gonna be my starter and he's going to be focusing on Johnny. Um, I believe Kano needs Sonya kills. Um, Leatherface and Jason are Cassie kills. Freddy is Sonya kills, and I believe Kano is also Sonya kills. I don't like Black Dragon Kano, so although I do need to get him those Sonya kills, he's on the back burner back burner. I'd rather max out my feats for other characters before working on his Sonya kills. But at some point, I will start focusing him and giving him those damn kills. Not right now, though. Right now, I just, I'm not gonna use him. Like, I can't imagine a situation where I actually start playing Black Dragon Kano. You know what I mean? 
his strength is within a Black Dragon team, and I don't think that's one of the better teams in the game. So. Fight. Let's try to get Goro. There's Johnny Cage kill. Of course, that would push him away. Stop. We'll get the kill here. Sonia, please tag and kick him out. So you don't do it to one of my other guys. That's fine. What I'll do is I'll get you your two special ones now. I usually like to do zero damage when I do these. Once again, just so that I can get the maximum amount of specials in, in these easy battles. Impressive. Now, Sonya's going to kick him out, which kind of sucks. Now, I'll just finish off the battle. We're going to keep in sub and strictly go for special ones. Nice crit there. And that will get the kill. So now, let's take a look at where our feats of strength lie. I don't know why I've been giving more time and attention to my MK11 feats um, farming teams. I just have. Maybe because they have so much synergy together versus the other team, which is just basically my strongest diamonds down. Um, and the other team, I have Ronan Kenshi right now. Um, Tournament Quan Chi and Shao Kahn. All three, you know, pretty decent diamonds. Um, but I haven't been using them most. I need to get back to farming them because they're all getting close. Whereas these guys were nowhere close and already like surpassed where they are. So I do need to work on them, but I don't know why I've been favoring my MK11 teams. Uh, maybe it's because I know my MK11 teams are weaker. So when I'm starting towers, like in the earlier battles where, you know, characters aren't as strong yet. I know I can get away with using them in the earlier battles where I can't probably get away with them after battle 100. And that's when I'll focus them after 100. Maybe that's the reason why. I don't know. But let's take a quick look at my feats of strength. Scorpion is at 1,392 special twos. So he's very close to his 1,500. Once again, when he's out, I'm going to bring Shang in. Maybe after Shang, Rain. Maybe after Rain, Nightwolf. Um, I've already done sub. Uh, Scarlet's on the bottom of the totem pole and Raiden's on top of her. So I'm going to focus all of my other MK11 characters over those two. Scarlet and Raiden are last. And if I remember correctly, Raiden doesn't need special ones and twos, just x-rays and battle mode wins. And we're already working on those in battle mode. So Scarlet may be the only one, but Scarlet needs knockouts. I don't think Scarlet needs ones or twos either. I think she needs knockouts. So. We may not need to farm them at all for the most part. We'll see when the time comes. She needs challenge mode wins. I haven't played the gold character challenge modes in a while. So she does need that. Maybe we'll start working on that. I do have teams set for that too as well though. But yeah, Classic Goro is at 451 Johnny Cage kills. So he's very close to his 500. As you guys see, every time I see a Johnny Cage, I bring in Classic Goro. Classic Goro, um, that may be his last feat minus uh, Faction Wars. And that is correct. So that's his only feat left minus faction wars. I do have to start working on faction wars for some people. But with the towers basically taking over the game since basically last spring, it's been tower after tower after tower after tower. Once the towers took over, I can't really grind, you know, other teams in faction wars. I may run the same two to three teams in faction wars, get in one or two elder runs per season. And like that's all I can really play for the season. I don't have the time <laughs> to grind faction war wins with most of these characters. So if they're not bonus characters, most likely they're just not going to get used. But we're almost halfway there with his faction war wins. Um, same with MK11 sub and Scorpion. All their faction mode wins are around the halfway uh, mark. So it'll get there over time, you know, as their bonus characters, etc. They'll get there over time. I'm not going to kill myself over it. These feats are cool and all, but once you get to that 6% mark, you're good. You know, that last 2% is cool, but definitely don't break your back for that last 2% buff. Work on that, that first 6%, and then after the 6%, the last 2% will happen over time. So that's kind of the way I look at the feats of strength in general. I don't want anybody like thinking, oh, main said you got to grind your way all the way through 8% of all of these buffs. Like... 
you get to that 6% mark, you're good. The rest will happen over time. So yeah, guys, and uh, Sub-Zero has uh, 1340 of his 2000 special ones. So we've already gotten Sub-Zero his 500 Scorpion kills. Um, and Scorpion is working on his 500 Sub-Zero kills. He's at 312 right now. And as I mentioned, Strike Force Scorpion, who's not on this team uh, because I just got him recently, he's less than 100. So I'd rather knock out MK11 Scorpion, let him get all the Sub Zeros until he hits his 500. And once he hits his 500, then I'll bring in Spec Op Scorpion next. And after Spec Op, I'm going to bring in Hell Spawn. So that's my plan, guys. That's basically how I've been playing this game. I, I know that may be boring to some of you guys, but. You know, we haven't really gotten to talk in a while, and um, that's mostly what I've been doing throughout these towers. So when you guys see me playing towers with these weird teams and characters that don't seem to have synergy or don't seem to make sense, understand that that's what I'm doing. I'm farming my special ones and twos in my tower battles until the battles start getting hard. And that's when I actually start using tower gear and tower equipment and tower teams, etc. So, so yeah, guys. We do have a boss battle coming up at 20, but let's be honest, it's not going to be hard. So it's nothing, nothing to see there for the most part. Maybe I'll make another short video on it. Something to uh, help you guys out past the time. Um, and I, something else I've been thinking about just because, you know, as I stated, you know, I'm really busy right now. Things are extremely busy. I wanted to make sure I get you guys at least one video on the Cold War Tower and what I think about the tower and the rewards, etc. But how do you guys feel about me um, making some videos, you know, without a face cam? Uh, it would it would enable me to get a few more recordings in maybe even per week of just some of these boss fights with like no camera but um you know you guys would still get my commentary and my feedback and you know um all that other good stuff you know just not me in my face and all of this amazing stuff i'm just kidding but nonetheless let me know how you guys feel about that um would you guys you know, rather get some content with no face cam or would you guys rather, you know, get videos, you know, less videos, but when they come, they're all, you know, the same, you know, with face cam, the full, the full nine, you know what I mean? So I don't know. Let me know. But that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap up this video. You all know the deal. If you are new to the channel, and not yet subscribed make sure you go ahead and smash that subscribe button and in addition to that don't forget to show your boy some love and leave a like on this video if you love my channel and want to help it grow or just want to talk to me more and hang out with us in discord and with my community and help grow my specific mk mobile community you guys can become channel members by hitting the join button and uh, adding yourselves to discord channel members are automatically able to add themselves to discord also twitch subscribers are as well um as i mentioned to you guys before very very busy in training at my new job but once things settled we'll get into a nice groove and we'll talk more about some more videos and more series on the way there's two games i plan on bringing to youtube two new games one's a ps5 game and one's a nintendo game i'll let you guys guess what they are in the comment section below hence shut up you already know Shut up. Don't spoil it. But I will see you guys in the comment section. Look forward to hanging out with you guys and talking to you guys. Discord squad, I love y'all. Channel members, thank you guys so much for the support. Through all of this, it means the world to me. So thank you guys. I'll see y'all in the comment section. It's your boy, Main Mania. I'm out. Peace.